Hey, the Iceman here on the Iceman's Return YouTube channel. And, you know, and I, I really don't want to do this video. I really don't. But I'm watching all the YouTube comments and statements about Cena and Orton. It's overwhelming. It really is. Um, really. People are saying... John Cena is nowhere near the equal of Ric Flair. Well, let me, whoa, just let's back this up a minute. All right? You people go back. And the people that have watched Ric Flair from the beginning, like I have, in the early days, in the middle 70s, going into the late 70s, into the early 80s, okay? The NWA days, the Crockett promotion days. You watch that. That was the best of Ric Flair. That was the very best of Ric Flair. Because after that, when Ted Turner bought out the Crockett promotion, and it became World Championship Wrestling, and Eric Bischoff was brought in, Ric Flair's days were done. They were done. So... When I was living this, when it actually happened, it seemed like a long time. But you go back and check the records. Ric Flair's huge, huge moments weren't for a very long time span. And yeah, he was with the Four Horsemen. He was with Ole Anderson, Arn Anderson, Tully Blanchard. Those were his best days. His best feuds. Dusty Rhodes, Nikita Koloff, the Garvin brothers, Jimmy and Ronnie Garvin. Those were his best days. Then he went to, you know, transition into WCW. Nothing worked for him. Bischoff really didn't care about him. So in 1992, Vince decided to bring him on up. He brought him up to the WWE. He had another couple title runs. But, yeah, okay, he's recognized as 16-time champion. Yeah, he's had more than 16 belts. But they're belts that really are minor belts, so they're not really recognized because these promotions are, like, so time it's pathetic. So you're bitching about John Cena tying Ric Flair's record. John Cena did more in his 16 title run than Ric Flair did in his Crockett promotion run. I'm sorry. I lived it. I know. And I am a Ric Flair fan. I was a big Ric Flair fan. Ric Flair was my idol. I remember back in the days when the magazines came out and they were talking about Flair and Hogan, who was the better of the two. And everybody was talking about Hogan being the better because it was in the WWF. And Flair never got that much exposure. But I saw Ric Flair. Ric Flair was better than Hogan. He was technically better. He was better on the mic. And he was just generally all around better. You compare him now to John Cena because John Cena finally gets his 16th title. Are you? Why are you belittling John Cena? Is it John Cena's fault that the WWE wants to give him the title? No. They're decorating John Cena for all he's accomplished in the WWE and all he's done for the WWE. Get a life. Get over it. And Randy Orton, same thing. They're giving him something. This is Randy Orton and John Cena's last hurrah. They're not getting nothing else. Maybe, maybe Orton might. But John Cena ain't, and he knows it. But he earned it. Look at all he's done for the WWE, the Make-A-Wish, all the promotions on, the, on, on all the shows, the morning shows, the late night shows, everywhere he goes. You tell me he don't deserve it? Come on. Get a life. John Cena deserves to be 16-time champion. And if I had my way, John Cena would be a 17-time champion to beat Ric Flair's ass record because Ric Flair was never in the WWE the whole time of his career. His time span 
of in the middle to late 70s and early 80s with the Crockets was a short span. Those were the days he was recognized. You, you get into the late 80s, early 90s, and go to present time, Ric Flair was a joke. Come on. He was a joke. He won because of the Flair name. Be real. That's what I'm doing. I'm being real. John Cena. The champ is back. <laughs>